It's been a Polk County landmark for more than 83 years, but after today, it's closing its doors for good. The owners of the Chalet Suzanne in Lake Wales says it's time to move on. Our Jason Beisel went to the historic inn and restaurant and talked with those saying goodbye. There is one here of Vincent Price. There's a Vincent Price. Vincent house. Price. I'm sure there's many other uh, celebrities. And Longtime visitors of the Chalet Suzanne, Wendy and Victor Leo point out some of the famous names gracing this wall of personalized tiles. Tiles taking you down memory lane of people who visited this historic destination. It's not only sentimental, it's a, it's a piece of history and a walk back in time. Today, this wall of tiles takes the Leos back in time to 2005 when they said their I do's. And we got married here. Uh, one of my friends had said, words cannot describe this place. Now they are trying to find the words to say goodbye to a place they love. There's, there's, there's just, nothing. there's nothing like this that we've ever seen anywhere. Making it a place even the rich and famous took time to visit. A hundred acres complete with a 26 room inn, restaurant, vineyard, landing strip, shooting range, and more. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming and saying goodbye. Thank you. Now after 83 years, owner Eric Henshaw has decided to close the doors to this hidden treasure. Because we know that we're doing what we're supposed to do, we're not sad. Henshaw is a third generation owner. His grandmother, Bertha Henshaw, opening the quirky establishment back in 1931. But after years of fighting a tough economy and trying to keep up with repairs, Henshaw and his wife knew what they had to do. The thing that we feel is that we are doing God's will for our lives. You know, we, we feel like we had clear direction to make this decision to close it. A decision that has the Leos coming to the realization this could be their final time spent at their home away from home. I'm hoping not, but... But it could be. Now the Henshaws tell me some people have come forward and expressed interest in purchasing the property, but so far nothing has been agreed upon. In the newsroom, Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.